Morning, everyone, and welcome back to another 5K podcast brought to you by The Future You. Now, I want to talk a bit about social media and what's happening out there at the moment and people feeling pressurized because 2019, they've got to change and they've got to be somebody new. So all of this stuff just puts pressure on people all the time. Okay, so you do the five kilometer run in 2019 because you want to be better at it. And you put so much pressure on yourself that after one month, you're not even running anymore. I keep on seeing quick fix diets coming out. You've got to change now. Do it today. Yeah, whatever. There's plenty of time to change the stuff. It's because of pressure that these companies and people are putting on other people that people don't actually do it because they feel like they've got to be a new person within about a week in order to um, have success with it or actually get somewhere with this stuff. So sometimes it's good just to step back and go, right, okay, fine, 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 fine. What do I want to do in this year? Well, I just want to kind of maybe be a bit healthier, be a bit fitter. Okay, so what do we do? What are you not doing? Are you not doing any activities? Well, find something that you like. Look at the stuff out there and think, well, I enjoy walking. Start walking. And I promise you, before you know it, you'll start jogging because you're actually enjoying it. Let things happen. You want to eat better, sometimes just cut the stuff that you know is making you not feel as good. Don't cut it out completely because you're going to go back to it. So start cooking your own meals. Maybe look at some videos online to see how you should cook, how to flavor your food. That does help a lot. But all of the social media, I look at Instagram, Facebook, and all of these things is constantly the bombarding of you've got to do it, you've got to do it, you've got to do it. Yes, I post transformational pictures out there as well about people that have signed up to the future you plan because I'd like to share the fact that they've changed and that they feel good. But the thing behind this story, the, the bit that people don't know is a lot of the people came to me and they asked me how to just kind of help them be healthier. So we didn't say you are never allowed to do this. I give the tools. I say, just be careful for that because that can hold you back. Then you make up your own mind about what you want to do. If you want to drink beer every single day and tell me you're not losing fat, that's your problem. It's not mine. I told you beer is full of sugar, but you keep on drinking it, not getting any results. So you help people. You put stuff out there. and Hopefully somebody looks at it and go, yeah, you know what? I, I should maybe change myself. Doesn't mean that they have to buy a plan or something like that. But maybe they just look at it and think, yeah, you know what? Maybe I can make a few changes in my life. But the whole social media thing has really become bad. I must say, uh, it's constantly like telling people to do this, do that, do that. And yes, we can all be guilty sometimes of feeling like we're preaching to people because we see something and think, oh, if people only knew that's bad for them. And then you feel like you've got to spread the word about it. But I'm kind of done with that because it doesn't help. You just put people off. They don't want to do it. Because I just feel like you're literally like smacking them with a book over the head all day long and say, you got to do it, you got to do it, you got to do it. You're bad. So it doesn't really help. Okay, everybody can make up their own minds about what they want. But the one thing that I would say, and hopefully this will maybe help a few people is think about what you want. And that's the main thing. Think about what it is that you want. Do you want to change your life? Do you want to be a happier person? Do you want to just stand more upright like I'm trying to do every day. I'm trying to work on my posture and I know it will stick if I keep on going with it. I just got to keep on going. So all these things, little steps at a time. So once you get your posture in place, you'll be like, yeah, I feel much, much better now. Maybe I should go and do a walk. Maybe I should go and do a little run. And that's the thing. Let it happen. You will see more and more results if you just sometimes just go with the flow like they say. You still have to try. Don't get me wrong. You still have to try. Go to gym, do a few weights, enjoy it, make a few friends, join a WhatsApp group if you have to, but just keep going. And then eventually you'll feel like, this is not that bad. I'm actually okay because your brain gets used to it. It becomes the norm. It becomes the everyday thing, but make it fun, change it up a little bit so that you also don't get bored with what you're doing. Um, so yeah, so all I'm trying to say is don't be so fooled by everything that you see all the time. Like social media is like, it's got to happen today. 2019 has got to be the year. Wow, if you're young, you've got plenty of years, I'm sure, that you can still live and still make yourself a better, healthier, whatever person you would like to be. There's still time, okay? If this is the downfall to the gyms and stuff. Everybody runs into the gym at the beginning of the year. And by the way, Let's just get this straight. It's not January. It's February when people actually go and join up. 
January, nobody's got any money and they're still trying to get over their mental bit about, oh, I need to get myself in uh, the right place. Then they go February, then they end there. But anyway, by the end of February, they're all back out again because they went in with this massive thing like, I've got to do it. Today's the day. Yes, I'm all in. I'm going to do it. And end of February, they're like, oh, yeah, you know what? The work stress has just got me down. I just I just hate my fiance. Da, da, da. And then they go and then off they go again. That's the way they go. It's important to try and just sometimes just step back, go right, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Every year I make this mistake. Every year I make the same mistake over and over again. What can I do different this year just to feel okay and just go um, towards my, or try and get towards my goals? What can I do? Okay, right, maybe write down one thing. Yeah, that's pretty achievable, I can do that. Maybe for the first two weeks. Bit by bit, and you'll get there. Because sometimes we look at the overall thing and think, wow, that's so overwhelming. I'm never going to be able to do that. It's because you're looking at everything that you've got to do. Break it down, and before you know it, everything's habit. You get there. You feel, okay, I had to do this office. I wrote all this stuff on here. You look at it now, and you're like, wow, that's quite a lot of work, actually. But I did it bit by bit. Every day I came in here, wrote down a little bit, did a few things. I'm back in the gym, doing a bit of training, not too heavy, so I don't hurt myself. But... It's feeling better. I can push myself a little bit more. Automatic. Let it happen and you'll get there. So I hope this helps. I hope you listen to this and you go, you know what? That's a pretty decent tip. Maybe I will take it a little bit easier and get there eventually. Don't worry about it not happening today. Just get there eventually. So uh, all the best with it. Keep your eye on the ball, by the way. Or eye on the prize or whatever you want to call it. Just keep your eyes on on the target keep your eyes on the target do the small things and if you fail at it a few times just that's okay that's fine just step back again and then go forward again repetitiveness will get you there if you're consistent you will get there so uh enjoy the journey that's what they say so see you later bye